this population here um, has less capacity to advocate for themselves. What I find disappointing is that they're treated differently. In this December 8th internal email, Dr. Christopher Fink, Dr. Rachel Ruiz and a third doctor requested an urgent meeting with Santa Clara Valley Medical Center leaders. The topic? The state of its pediatric gastroenterology division. They detail what they describe as a dire situation. Their department has 135 routine new referrals waiting for an appointment that once made are still three months out. They go on to estimate when you consider it takes three to four months for a child to make it to the front of the line just to make an appointment, the total wait time for a new patient adds up to about six to seven months. When you're thinking about a problem that you're dealing with, whether it's a horrible stomach ache, whether it's diarrhea every day where you're afraid to even go to school, it creates stress for the entire family. Dr. Ruiz is one of the doctors the investigative unit spoke to for another recent report about physician burnout and long patient wait times for specialty care across more than 20 Valley Medical Center departments. Over the course of our reporting, the county reached a deal with physicians to increase their pay, add staff, and allow primary care doctors to see fewer patients. But Dr. Ruiz and Dr. Fink say the deal doesn't help their department because they're a specialty. These are for routine appointments. Why do you think the situation is dire? When you're being referred to a pediatric gastroenterologist, there's something wrong. The doctors say there is a separate queue for urgent cases, but to get on that list, a pediatrician or the family needs to advocate for the child. They say in some cases, families aren't advocating enough or they're missing a hospital notification. What if that family doesn't speak English? That, that, lads, that adds a whole other barrier. Dr. Fink and Dr. Ruiz believe ultimately the county needs to increase access by hiring another pediatric gastroenterologist, something they say they've been asking for for more than a year. We think about if that was my child, if that was my niece or my nephew or my neighbor, would it, would it be acceptable? And the answer is always no. And if that's the answer, then we know that something needs to change. Valley Medical Center CEO sent us this statement today saying in part, like many health care systems, our hospitals and clinics are impacted by a high number of patients seeking care following the COVID-19 pandemic. We are working with the pediatric GI division to ensure that all clinic appointment slots are appropriately filled and optimized each day. Paul Lorenz, the CEO there, declined an interview with us and did not answer specific questions we sent. With the investigative unit, Candace Wen, NBC Bay Area News.